A controversy at the state house over transgender health care. A new lawsuit is fighting a new law that will prohibit health care providers from providing services to members of the transgender community. Our Lauren Lennon spoke with families that the bill impacts and heard from one lawmaker who supports the legislation. Lauren. Well, Kitty and Tessa, last week, the ACLU of South Carolina filed a lawsuit against the state. They say the ban would block, quote, life-saving care for transgender youth and adults. We are challenging this harmful, cruel, and unconstitutional law in court. This law is doing real harm to people across South Carolina. And our Constitution is quite clear that we are guaranteed equal protection under our laws. This law treats transgender people differently than other people, and that's discrimination. In that lawsuit, the ACLU is focusing on three sections of House Bill 4624. The law prohibits gender-affirming care for anyone under 18, use of public funds for gender-affirming care, and gender-affirming care coverage under South Carolina's Medicaid program. We've reached out to Low Country Representative Jordan Pace, a supporter of this legislation, for a statement. He says in part, quote, It's disappointing the ACLU continues to defenestrate the credibility it built up decades ago by defending grifters that physically and emotionally harm children in order to create forever patients that will require intensive and expensive treatments for life, end quote. But people impacted by the bill are happy to see the ACLU standing up for their rights and the rights of their loved ones. It is hugely important to know that we are not alone. And that um, is huge for him, just as a human to feel loved and supported, but for his mental health, to know that there are many, many adults who know that his life has value and that he deserves to live wholly and healthfully and um, that they're fighting for him. So it, it makes all the difference. You know, seeing the ACLU of South Carolina file this lawsuit has really been, you know, just giving our community members a lot of hope and sort of re-energizing them to know that, you know, there are organizations out there who are fighting on their behalf, who understand that this is wrong, uh, that this law is hurtful and harmful and, and are going to bat for them. The executive director of the ACLU says some hospitals have already stopped health care services and estimates that about 800 people have been affected by the bill so far. The ACLU's lawsuit states the total ban will take effect on January 31st. Working for you, Lauren Lennon, News 4.